What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it is time to break down the lineups from week four of the NFL DFS season. Uh, I'm sorry these are going up on Wednesday. I had some technical issues on Monday uh, and then I just didn't have time to record on Tuesday. Um, and so, consequently, we're recording them on Wednesday. Doesn't change the fact or the results. Still working on getting an overlay, so we've got Alvin Kamara chilling up at the top of the screen. I may just mishmash a bunch of pictures together and uh, and do that. So, anyway, let's get into this. This is a $44 GPP on FanDuel. Uh, I placed 753rd. Nothing impressive, but it was good enough to cash for $85. Um, I've had two crush weeks on DraftKings, and pretty much every week on FanDuel I just cash. I, I never really crush, I just cash. Because my mindset is so focused on DraftKings that probably Julio Jones is not a great FanDuel play in hindsight. I mean, he was on the guy who won the $44 GPP, won his Thelonious number. But let's be honest, Julio, who does, who's on pace for 2,000 receiving yards and 125 grabs, is on pace for zero touchdowns again. He's going to have to get in the end zone eventually here. I mean, seriously... It's getting, like, ridiculous at this point. It's not even, like, a squeaky wheel narrative. It's not like, oh, my gosh, he's due. It's literally, it cannot continue like this forever. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into this. Andy Dalton was my quarterback over here. 25.78 points, uh, three touchdowns. Had a big final drive. We'll talk about more of that on DraftKings where there was the bonuses in play. Uh, Gio Bernard, 23.6. He was my absolute lock of the week on both sites. Rushed two touchdowns. Didn't really have the receiving game that I thought he would with only four receptions for 27 yards. Uh, but they did put Mark Walton in for like three plays where they should have had Gio in. If they had Gio in, he probably takes it for a touchdown. It didn't make any sense. I'm still tilted about the one where Mark Walton was wide open on a screen. There was there were three linemen to block one guy, and it was a touchdown. And... and Oh my gosh, Walton didn't catch the ball, and it was the most tilting thing ever. Alvin Kamara, talk more about him on DraftKings as well because of the bonus. Uh, he had a great game at 38.6 fantasy points. Antonio Callaway stepped out at the one-yard line. Otherwise, he puts up um, 19, or not 19, he puts up uh, 16, or 13 points. I can't do math. 13 points. Callaway would put up 13 points if he doesn't step out of the one and goes in for the touchdown. Uh, Sterling Shepard, 20.7. He had 10 receptions, which was huge. And also, big on today, uh, or on these lineups, were the two-point conversions. Julio caught that late bomb deep. 21.8 fantasy points. Eric Ebron, 12.5. He got into the end zone. Uh, was stuck at like 1.4 on FanDuel and 1.9 on DraftKings for most of the game and then kind of got hot and then got in the end zone. Uh, Tyler Eifert was the other guy I talked about. He put up 11.8, was probably the better play over Ebron. And then you probably could have come up off of Antonio Callaway um, to someone else. Probably was the play, but doesn't really matter. Um, put up similar points. Eifert probably would have smashed him had Eifert not had that horrendous ankle injury that he had. Uh, MG3, another guy got the two-point conversions, 27.4 fantasy points, and the Titans D had six. Uh, the Packers D was a smash one, and it's rare to see a team get like 23 fantasy points without a defensive touchdown, especially in today's league. Uh, but they had a forced fumble, two interceptions, um, allowed zero points, and had seven sacks. Uh, the Titans D... Didn't have anything crazy. They sacked Wentz four times and had a fumble recovery. But for 3500 they got it done. Allowed you to fit in other stuff. Uh, and we're my favorite defense. So, here is the 333. Um, This lineup over here on DraftKings was pretty chalky. Uh, if you would have played it in the 333, you would have split it with 14 people. Uh, 15 lineups. I had two of the same lineup in here. Um, and so it was Andy Dalton, Gio Bernard, Melvin Gordon, Geronimo Allison, Tyler Boyd, Sterling Shepard, Eric Ebron, Alvin Kamara, and the Bears defense. So the big thing with this lineup was getting the bonuses. Dalton got like nine points on their final possession, got the bonus, got a touchdown, got obviously yards. Melvin Gordon, two-point conversion, 100-plus rushing yard bonus. Allison got hurt. 
Um, otherwise, I think he probably reaches the bonus, hits close to 22, 23 points if he doesn't get hurt, I think. Uh, Tyler Boyd had 11 receptions for 100 yards, got four, three or four receptions for like 30 yards on the final drive, uh, put up like 10 points on that final drive. He came up huge. Two-point conversion by Sterling Shepard was big. He had 10 receptions. Um, and then that 40 or 50, whatever distance long rush that Kamara broke off at the end of the game, Gave him another touchdown, gave him the rushing bonus, gave him the yardage. It was something like a 9-point or 10-point thing from Kamara there. Um, no, no, it was like a 14-point thing by Kamara because he had the touchdown. Yeah, it was like a 14 or 15-point like rush by Kamara um, when he broke that free. The Bears' defense was good against Fitzmagic and Jameis. I think Jameis actually threw two interceptions to Fitzmagic's one. Uh, 14 points for them. The ownerships in the the ownership in the 333 was pretty nice on a lot of these guys. Kamara only 31%. But we'll look at the cash game ownership and uh, quite the different story. Bears were 50% as a defense. Ebron 77%. Shepard 82%. Kamara 75.7%. Uh, Geronimo Allison only 40%. He was key. Melvin Gordon was actually higher owned or actually. Or, not higher own, but he was closely owned in his GPP compared to cash games. 18.5% in cash games really helped you carry it home. Uh, Zeke was 40%. Um, let's see here. Uh, Geo was 81%. Dalton was 54 Um Finished pretty high in double ups. I mean, this was 22,988 lineups were placed into this, this uh, double up. I finished 1,969, and so finished pretty high with this cash lineup, and so um, it, it was a good week. I think I 4 or 5 x my entries on DraftKings, doubled up on FanDuel. It was a good week all in all. Um, pretty chalky, pretty easy week. We've got a pretty non-chalky looking week coming up, I think. Um, there's some heavy chalk, I think, that'll be on a couple of players. But I don't think it's going to be super mega ultra chalk like it was this week. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Check back later. We'll have um, the early week breakdown up as well as previewing Thursday night football. Uh, if you're into gaming, have been uploading Shadow of the Tomb Raider as well as uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I will catch you guys all in my next video. Peace out.